No! Ah, 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 ah. Yeah. Um. Uh, howdy. How's it going? Uh, I I never I never dress up for Halloween on here, so I thought I'd do it once. Uh, didn't work well. We'll think about next year and how that'll go. Uh, welcome everyone. It's a Thursday. You know what that means? It means it's a gear talk time. That's right. We're gonna get one more going. I've only got one plan for this uh this month. Good old Spooktober, when I first started everything on the channel, I believe, was October, and that was like, I think, three years ago. Uh, my first video was just an introduction of like, hey, we're going to do it, and I had all of my Gears of War stuff at the time, I have more now, just put in front of me, and I just had everything, like, this, we're doing it, the, the, my favorite franchise, we're going to talk about it, like, oh boy, we've <laughs> we've come a long way, wearing a, wearing a zombie skeleton viking mask and i finally got a lancer but we made it we're, we're here now so um what are we going to talk about for good old spooktober well i thought about it i wanted to find something like spooky um but then i remembered gears of war is kind of like a dark and abysmal story to begin with like many people are dead where we are in the timeline even like there's one percent of the original human population left alive unless jin has gone through and actually like her breeding program has actually come to fruition which i think it has but not to the level they want yeah, so what to talk about? Well, um, let's talk about uh, where everyone who dies goes, or at least where they're remembered. We're going to talk about the Tomb of the Unknowns today. We're also going to talk about the Eternal Flame. We'll talk about that a little bit, but mostly the Tomb of the Unknowns, because I found it earlier on. I remembered about it. I re we played the original, and I had to fight a Berserker there, and it was kind of like, oh yeah, this is a place. And also, it struck in my brain, oh yeah, this is where Anya's mother, Helena, or Helena, depending how you want to pronounce it, is is memorized, because she's not around, her, her physical form is gone. Uh, Carlos, Carlos is also remembered here. His physical form is also gone, so, um, yeah, let's talk about the Tomb of the Unknowns today, shall we? It's probably important to first talk about what the Tomb of the Unknown is, or Tomb of the Unknowns, as it's actually stated. So, the Tomb of the Unknowns is stated to be the the resting place of those who have passed away in war, um, they weren't identified, they are unknown soldiers. This is where they are placed or memorized, or, well, they would have to be placed here because we don't know who they are, so we can't really just put a, a plaque that says their name because we don't know who they are. The other people who are buried here, or other soldiers, I should say, are those who have received the Embry Star. Now, it's very select on who can get it, it's the highest honor the COG has, as I can see from the wiki, even in my memory, the people who have passed that are actually there, I think only ranges from like three to five. Uh, there are other people who have received the Embry Star who are still alive. Uh, for instance, you have Hoffman. Hoffman, I believe, earned his. He gave his away, but he was still a recipient. So if he were to be died and buried somewhere pre-Gears 4 and 5, it would probably be Tomb of the Unknowns, or at least when they still had it up and operational, we'll get to that also. Not only do the Unknown go here and recipients of the Embry Star, uh, but post E-Day, once everything happened, core of the population was gone and bodies were constantly rising, it kind of came to the decision that the Tomb of the Unknowns is kind of just open for anybody at this point. So what happened was is, and, and Marcus explains this later on, and I think Gears 4 or 5, he explains this, 4 I believe. It kind of came to the point with the war where a lot of people died. A lot of people died to the point where it would take too much time, energy, they did not have the time. Sometimes it wasn't possible to get the bodies and bring them to be buried. It just wasn't happening. So that's why in 4 and 5, you see old bodies, skeletons, just everywhere. Marcus says, we were kind of in the middle of a war here. We didn't have time to just go and get people buried or go and deal with it. We had a lot of other things we were dealing with. And to that respect, he is true. By the end of 3, we see that there was a lot of stuff going on in the Gears of War franchise that culminated at that point. It kind of just became Tomb of the Unknowns. This is just a memorial for everybody. Um, everyone who has passed a soldier during the Lambent Pandemic, which happened towards the end. The Stranded Insurgency, that happened right before that. And then the Locust War in general, which spanned all of it. Anyone from that is going here. Because we just don't have the ability to just bury people wherever they want anymore. And I understand that one also. Because the locusts come up from the ground. Uh, a lot of holy sites or burial sites are probably desecrated, destroyed. Or, again, 
we don't have the time to ship someone out across the entire planet to be buried where they want to be placed. It's probably not going to happen. So yeah, that happened. Uh, the Eternal Flame we can quickly talk about too before we go into some other stuff we're going to talk about. So the Eternal Flame is another part of the Tomb of the Unknowns, which I should state is like across the street from the House of Sovereigns. Just little fun fact for you. And the Eternal Flame works as, and I know we have this in our world too. Uh, I can't think of any that really come to my mind. If there is, here you go, I'll put it on screen. We have things where we have a flame that will always burn. For those who um, or are, are MIA, I believe, or people who are killed in action and we don't have their names. Tomb of the Unknowns for them, it is you died in battle, you died uh, a dark death, like you're in darkness, no one knows who you are, but there's a flame that will guide you. That's kind of how the Eternal Flame works. It's always burning 24-7 in memory of those who died for the cog. That is how the Eternal Flame works. With the Tomb of the Unknowns, it is stated that anyone who has an Embry star, has received one, died, will go there. Or if the individual, for instance, died in battle and we don't know who they are, they will be buried here. Now, like I said, once the Locust War really kicked into high gear, probably after a couple AE, they kind of didn't gather bodies anymore. It's just get their tags and we'll put their names down somewhere. That's kind of what it turned into. And again, Embry star people who passed, it kind of worked the same. We're never really given... A definite what happens to them where they go or if they do have a burial ceremony the cog were very heavy into government and formality so i would assume they did for instance if hoffman did die i want to believe they would actually bury him at the tomb of the unknowns i believe they probably would now i did say that it's the highest recipient you can get if you have the Embry star there is only there's one level above that for like burial that kind of circumcedes people being sent there to be buried again the highest honor you can get there are some exceptions for instance high-ranking military officials or uh, people in charge politically are probably getting buried where they want to get buried uh, especially if they didn't get Embry Star they're probably going where they choose to be buried again their names are probably going to be scribed onto there but the god were very f heavy on formality so they probably were sent to be buried somewhere civilians are not going to be buried there period Cog definitely doesn't do that for civilians. And the one last one are the All Fathers. Now again, the Tomb of the Unknowns are for those who hold the highest military honor, even though the leader of the All Fathers had the last name Embry, the Embry Star. Um, they aren't getting buried there. They're, by what we know of, in Ephira, like the main headquarters, main area, they are buried within their own like crypt or chamber. That's where the All Fathers are all buried. When everything happened, the Locust War was over, everything was really, like, destroyed, they did start building new Ephira, and they took scraps from old Ephira. That included everything. They started just taking it all, scrap all, and building. Now, there are some places they did not touch. Tomb of the Unknowns and the Eternal Flame are two of those places they did not touch. Those were a memorial. Anya, being the first minister at that point, made it known, we will not mess with this. This is a monument to everyone who died. We're not touching it. We will try and rebuild it. That's the best we're going to do. We're not going to do anything else. We're not scrapping this. This needs to stay. When they went through Old Ephira, they went to what we can assume the chambers of the Allfathers are, took their bodies, and brought them to New Ephira. They didn't bring them to the tomb. Uh, they wanted to keep the Allfathers with them, which I believe it's because the Allfathers are also seen not only as the founders, but a religious figure, all eight of them. So they brought them to be... Pretty much like the Vatican, I would assume. I'm assuming people are buried at the Vatican. And it's like, these are like the people we need to keep from everyone else. These are the most important. When Anya finally did pass, uh, after the events of all the interim stuff and before 4, it was stated that she was pretty much a contender to go with the All Fathers. She was going to go there and she was going to be with them. She was on that level of how much she helped humanity when New Ophir was created. Also remember, she fought during the Locust War and everything. You would think maybe she will go to the Tomb of the Unknowns, or at least the Memorial Wall. Marcus was not having any of that, because Marcus was not a fan of how the new cog was run. Once Anya was out, he blamed the birthing program. He blamed Jin. He just said, no, she's coming back home, and we're burying her over here. So they brought her back to the Stroud Estate, and that is where she is currently buried, and that's where she is. She is not with the Allfather. She is not with the Tomb of the Unknowns. The tomb is now just a monument. I don't think anyone will ever get buried there unless there was a reason. Uh, like I said, there are some exceptions to people who have the Embry Star who are not there. Those examples would be like Dom. 
Dom is going to be on that memorial wall. His body is not getting picked up and brought there. That ended up in chunks. Scorched, destroyed chunks. Same for Carlos. He went boom. Same for Helena. She went boom. There is no picking up those pieces and bringing them there. Though, technically, now that I remember, Marcus did pick up bits and pieces of Carlos. And he did carry them. He brought them back with him. He brought bits of Carlos back with to be buried. I forgot that part. At the end of all of that, when Operation Leveler's done, Marcus is holding bits and pieces of Carlos. I forgot that part. So Carlos, little retcon on my end, Carlos is, he is buried at the Tomb of the Unknowns at this current moment. Well, current moment's a little hard to say because we'll get into that right now. It has been destroyed. The Tomb of the Unknowns, for anyone who has not played the end of five, does not know what happened. Um, the tomb, along with Old Ophira in general, are pretty much gone from the map. They were ruins, they are now gone. So, during the end, with the big, giant, big old Kraken coming through, I shouldn't say that, the Riftworm dwarfs it, uh, when it, with it coming through, the Hammer of Dawn strike, all of that, it gets destroyed. Uh, this is also the site before it is fully gone. Dell and JD have to make a decision. Technically, with how it ends... One of them are buried at the Tomb of the Unknowns. So, there you go. Uh, but it is no more. The memorial site is pretty much gone. It's all finito. Uh, there is some important stuff to state, though. And this is a little thing that the creators did, the Coalition, which I'm a big fan of. They took everybody who died that were given a name, stated to be dead, in the Gears of War franchise, books, comics, the games, everything, DLCs, all of it, are on the memorial wall. And if you zoom in and take a look, and I have some of them saved on my Xbox to this day because I loved it so much. Their names are all there. You collect the collectibles for all the characters, you put them up, and their ghosts appear. Like, Adams is there, Ben's is there, everyone is. But the fact that they put every name, they combed the lore to have every single name... That is amazing. I have a lot of gripes now and now with the Coalition. I, just like everyone, that, that was beautiful. I love that as a fan, as someone who was very heavy with the lore. I think that was an amazing touch. Props to you guys. 100% A plus on that one. And that's really gonna do it. Like, I say they're short. This one's short. I'm not gonna drag it on, I swear. But, we're done. I'm not making a long one this time. I've got Halloween to work on. I've got personal life stuff to work on with Halloween. It's my favorite holiday of the year, man. I, It's my time. I need to go and take care of that in my own personal life. Because I love it so much, I swear. Um, but yeah, you guys have a great Halloween. This is going to be the last one for October. We're going to have normal stuff in November, one in December. Then we're going to start some fun stuff in January. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you all for making this possible. And thank the patrons for making this possible. Have a good Halloween, guys. I mean, I'm not going to see you until November for these. We're going to be having 13 days of Halloween, though. Stick around. I think it's going to be good. Future me, make it good. Halloween is what we live for. Watching you, bud. You guys have a good one. Later.